Hello, if you are searching for the guidance for the subject Introduction to Nursing Service Administration, then you have come for the right place. So let's start. In second year post basic BSc Nursing, total we have five subjects that is Sociology, Mental Health Nursing, Community Health Nursing, Introduction to Nursing Service Administration, Introduction to Nursing Education. In these five subjects, we have one toughest subject that is Introduction to Nursing Service Administration. So today we will discuss about that subject. So don't skip this video. We are going to discuss all about the whole syllabus and some of the previous year questions and everything about the examination. So first we'll discuss the syllabus. First unit one, principles and practice of administration. So this is the first unit. Under this we have significance, elements and principles of administration, then organization of hospital, definition, aims, functions and classifications. So here the hospital definition, aims, functions of the hospital classification, this is a very important question. Then health team, policies of hospital, different departments with special emphasis to department of nursing and office management, how to manage the office, this all comes under this unit. Responsibilities of the nursing personnel, speciality of ward sister, medical legal aspects, concepts or cost effectiveness, these all things we will discuss in first unit. So this unit is very important for the examination because here all the basics we are learning in this unit. Next unit 2. Nursing unit management, physical layout of a nursing unit and necessary facilities, factors affecting the quality of nursing care. So here what kind of nursing care we need to give, what are all the factors affecting for that. So this is a 5 mark question and it is very important for the examination. Then maintenance of a therapeutic environment and administration of the unit management of patient care. Then maintenance of physical environment. So these all are two marks questions. Then next assignment of duties and time plan. So how you are going to assign the duties and the time planning, the duty roster. This is a five mark question. Then patient assignment, safety measures, prevention of accidents and infections in the hospital and maintenance of patient records and reports, legal responsibilities, maintenance of quality nursing care, nursing audit. So here legal reports and records, it is a two mark question and sometimes they will ask as as well as for 5 marks also. Next we will see the unit 3 that is personal management. So here staff recruitment and selection. So there is a big process for the staff recruitment. So many stages are there. So you need to explain those stages. It is a 10 mark question and promotion, personal policies and job description, job analysis. These all are 2 mark questions. Then staffing the unit, staffing norms, rotation plan, leave planning, performance appraisal, staff welfare and management of disciplinary problems. So these all comes for 2 marks. In this unit you can expect one 10 mark question and you can expect two 2 mark questions. Next unit 4. So here supervision. Under supervision we have principles of supervision and nature. So here they will give for 5 marks supervision. Then tools and techniques of supervision, evaluation, nursing audit. Nursing audit is also a 5 mark question. Sometimes they may also ask for it 2 mark. Then staff development orientation program, skill training, leadership development, problem solving process. This all comes for 2 mark. So in this unit you can expect 1 5 mark and 1 2 mark question. Next unit 5 that is material management. So under this we have principles of material management. So how you will manage the materials. So which whatever you are putting the indent how you will do that everything it will come under this. This is a 5 mark question. Then quality control, inventory, care of equipment these all are 2 mark questions. So here role of nursing personnel in material management also they may ask for 2 marks. Then next. Unit 6, 
This is financial management. So under this we have budgeting, principles of budgeting, audit. So this is also audit I told you. This is very important question. And budgeting also important question. They will tell that budgeting for a college or budgeting for a hospital. Then you need to explain everything under that. So it is a 10 mark question. Next unit 7. Organizational behavior. So here group dynamics and human relation. Organizational communication. So here hospital information system. Public relation. Leadership styles and functions. Methods of reporting. Maintaining records and reports. In this unit records and reports it is very important. Sometimes they will ask for 10 marks or sometimes they will ask for 5 marks. So records and reports you need to study thoroughly. So overall in this syllabus the important questions are budgeting, auditing, then staff recruitment, then supervision, then hospital management. All these questions are very important. So you must study these questions. Next let's see the question paper pattern. So here totally for 75 marks we will get only 3 hours to write. So time management is very important. So the question paper is divided in 3 mains that is long essays, short essays and short answers. So long essays there will be 3 questions under that you need to answer only 2 questions. So total 20 marks. Then short essay you will have 9 questions under that you need to answer 7 questions. So 2 will be optional. So it is very easy to answer that. So whichever answer you know you can write and the difficult questions you can skip it out. Then third one is short answers. There will be total 10 and you need to answer 10 out of 10. So here it is for 2 marks so total 20 marks. Now let's see the long essays. First one is explain the factors affecting the quality of nursing care. So I told you during explaining the second unit, it is very important question, quality of nursing care. Here you can write at least two to three pages. You can write what is quality of nursing care and you can explain all the things under that. What are the factors affecting the quality of nursing care. So you can make the schematic diagram and then you can write down the points and under the points you can do some of the explanation like two three lines. Then it will be two and half to three pages. Then easy to get the score from eight to nine marks. Next second one is list the principles of administration and explain any two in detail with suitable examples. So here principles you need to explain all the principles you write down then later while explaining only two you explain and give some of the examples to that. Then next compute staff requirement on yearly, weekly and daily basis for a 200 bedded general hospital. So here you need to explain everything regarding the 200 bedded general hospital, how you are going to recruit the staff and what and all the process will be there. Everything you need to explain it. So here again I am reminding you there is a option you can write two questions and you can skip one question. Next short essay. Short essay total we have nine questions in that you need to answer only seven questions. First question is steps in budgeting. I told you budgeting, auditing and all very important question. So here you can write the definition of budgeting. Then you can write the steps and you can do some schematic diagram and you can explain the steps. Next inventory control. What is inventory control and what are the process will come during inventory control. Everything you can explain in that. Next staff recruitment. What is staff recruitment and what is the process? What are the stages? Everything you can explain under this. So for 5 marks you need to write at least 2 pages. So 1.5 to 2 pages is more than enough. Next techniques of supervision. I told you supervision is very important question. Here you write down the definition then you go for the techniques of supervision. Next hospital policy. Hospital policy, what is it and how is it everything you can explain it. Next nursing audit. This is also very important question. Every year repetitively they are giving these questions. Next principles of organization. What is the organization? What are the principles? How to run an organization? Everything you can explain under that. Next, nurses responsibility in preventing accident and infections. So in the hospital, 
accidents will occur sometimes cross infections will be there so how to control that how to prevent that what are all the measures you can take everything you can explain under this next classification of hospitals so what is hospital the definition then you can write the classification next short answers so total 10 questions we have so here you need to answer all the questions you don't have any option in this but one advantage is very simple to answer you just need to write the definition meaning and whatever you know you can explain that so first question is negligence what is negligence you can write down and you can get two marks then public relation personal management evaluation supervision span of control performance appraisal administration methods of reporting hospital information system so for all this you can write at least one paragraph six to seven lines or half a page that is more than enough so you saw supervision in the single question paper two times they have asked regarding the supervision this is also a very important question introduction to nursing service administration is actually a dry subject so you can use some of the tips and tricks to study that thoroughly so what you can do is while writing the exam you can write the definition so learn all the definitions thoroughly then you can write the objectives principles everything you can write it in the points and you can do some schematic representation so that you can get good scores so in long essays at least you write two to three pages then in the short essays at least you write one and a half page so that you will get 4.5 to 5 marks and short essays one paragraph is enough at least six to seven lines is more than enough to gain two marks so these are some of the tips to get good marks in this subject so today we discussed regarding introduction to nursing service administration. So you can go through the video and you can study well. If you have any doubts, go through the syllabus, go through the question papers and watch the video again and clarify your doubts. I hope this video will be helpful for your studies. Thank you.